Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of... <laughs> well that was quick. Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> what happened? Huh? What happened? I fucking grind us. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sparky Built, and today we're going to be covering the MIG function of the Yes Welder MP200. We are going to be covering setup, startup, and give you a couple demonstrations. One is going to be on our welding cube, it's about 14 gauge, and then we're going to butt weld some 8th inch plate together. Alright, let's get this machine set up. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about what came with the machine and what did not. So, the gun obviously came with the machine, it didn't have to purchase that, it came with the tips. It did not come with the wire needed to actually feed the gun and it did not come with a 7525 argon co2 mix or a regulator so you're gonna have to get pick this up here in your welding supply house you can pick this up as well from your welding supply house and or Amazon so first things I want to do is we're gonna hook up the hose to the regulator this is this hose was supplied with the welder and I've already got it tightened up over here on the machine it just fits into the big gas port and then we're going to come over and hook our gun up and I've already got the gun hooked up but we've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I can pull it out a little bit to show you what what it looks like so your your gas ports are here and your your wire is going to actually feed through here and it it's real simple there's only way one way you can go in and you're going to want to tighten it up and then you're going to want to feed the wire let me get plugged in here So you can turn your machine on, your switch is in the back. And if we were starting from the beginning, you're gonna to wanna to unload. So the yes, what the, the so the MP200 comes with two options. You can use a smaller spool, or you can use or you can use this larger piece that actually holds the 10 and 12 pound spools. So the larger spools. But we have 030 on here. And another thing is that it comes with two wheels. This one is knurled. This is for the gasless flux core wire. And it, it helps grab the grab the wire. And it comes with two different sizes, 0.08 and then 0.09. And that is for 030 and 035. And it's the same way with on the, it's the same wheel as that's on here, except this wheel is smooth. So we have it up, set up for 030. We're going to feed the wire in. And wait, the way you do that is you just have to. What happened? You got to come over here and do the settings. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So we're going to hit, I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button. We're going to scroll over here to MIG. We'll talk about these functions in just a minute. And now we should have power going to the gun. And so you can feed it in. And you're going to want to feed your spool. Feed your spool until the wire comes out. And you can trim it off or start with that. The next step is on here the same week. Before we close this up, we're going to have to turn it back off. And we're going to switch this bus bar over to negative to positive. We were breathe. You don't have to take this middle bolt all the way out. You just pop that down. If 
fast forward. Get everything stuck in here. Oh, you got it. Look at you. And then you dropped it again. All right. Take 1500. I'm gonna grab this $20 copper bus bar. You know where to get that for 20 bucks? <laughs> Shit. Hook me up. And I'm gonna hit the hole eventually. Jeez. All right, take. Go ahead and close this up. Now we're gonna move over here to. Crank this back up and we're gonna move over to the gas. You're gonna need your, you're gonna need to squeeze the trigger again for that. And so we're, let's go ahead and turn the bottle on. See if we can't shoot the ball out the top. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna set this for 15, about 15 to 20. So we're gonna set it about right there for, for, our, for our application. Okay, so that pretty much covers the setup. Uh, I do need to go over the settings. Press the select button. We're gonna go over a couple of these settings. And this just lets, lets you select your mixture. We're going with a 75 argon, 25% CO2. So we're gonna select that. And then we're gonna move over and we are working with still today. So I'm gonna select that and it lets you choose from 030 to 035. We have 030 in there. And then what this is, is 2T allows you to pull the trigger and as soon as you let off, it stops welding. The 4T, you pull the trigger and you can let off and it continues to weld until you break that arc. So we're gonna set it up, we're gonna put it back on 2T this function lets you select your thickness of metal. It's a preset, so it gives you the amperage that's recommended. We're gonna go with 14 gauge first. And then burn back. There's, I, we've messed with this. It doesn't really, we don't have any problems with sticky wire or anything like that, so I'm not sure the purpose of that. And then memory, you can select different settings. So if, if I was running that quarter inch and it, I can select memory two and it'll actually store it so I don't have to go in and change my settings every time. So that's pretty much it as far as the settings go. You can adjust your amperage separately and you can adjust your voltages separately. So we're gonna set this at zero and we're gonna set that at, make sure that's at 14 gauge, 60 amps. And we're gonna get started with the demonstration. All right, so we got Josh suited up ready to go and like I said we're gonna do a uh, weld on the cube I've cleaned an edge for him I think we'll do a clean pass and we'll do a dirty pass I like it let dirty. me turn your, hit your gas on gas is on ground ground it doesn't so, like it so the oh. other one likes it when we go through it doesn't mind going through the vice but right for some reason this one did not last time too. Well, I was thinking I didn't have the ground rod hook. Oh, let me. hit in the right spot. Yeah. One more thing I forgot. <laughs> One more thing I forgot about, about your setup is your ground rod on the MIG needs to go over to the negative and we actually had it set up over on the positive. So that's gonna be three spaces over. This guy. <laughs> can't remember sabotage, thing. Man. Sabotage. So, three spaces over for MIG. Ground rod, ground clamp goes to your negative. And let's give that a try again. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 
No thanks, she said we would, first. Maybe a little more gas and Okay. Almost need a little more wire on that on that corner. Okay. Or I guess I can It's alright. I mean it welded good, it's just it was trying to burn out on me, so I was having to move a little different. I mean that's your that's your heat register right there, so as far as the the heat goes. Well yeah. that it could probably come back a little bit, huh? On heat. Uh, that's, so when, that's pretty good. It's all the way out here. Okay. See it? I know, but I mean should it be more like right there? Well, right either through. way so that's our first that's our first weld let's do it dirty let's do it dirty let me turn your gas up a little bit just a touch pull it, pull it for me all right I'm not going to say that I'm perfect, but I mean, <laughs> right so, hand. So that's what, that's what a dirty will would get you. <laughs> yeah, it was dirty. You could see all this shit flaking off yeah. in, the, in the puddle. See all of it in there? Yeah. And it blew out right here. That's when yeah, I had to spot it that. to get it back. That's because all that shit was, it started building up right there. Yeah. Building up, building up, building up, and then it blew out, and I had to spot it, and I got it back, but it was dirty from there on. But it freaking welds good. Yeah. I'd say this welds just as good as that titanium. Okay. Once you get your hand on it. Right. We're going to set up for the eighth inch plate now. I'm going to change the settings over. All right, so we're going to try 100 amps. Actually, it would be 12 gauge. 12 gauge is eighth inch. One, two, five, I think. Okay. We'll start with that. So that puts us at 80 amps. All right, so we can go clean side and a dirty side. Okay. Right? Yeah. Make it pretty. Yeah, we'll see. It on 10 gauge or 12 gauge 12 okay that's me i guess oh yeah you got good thing. no it's a good beat it's just a little fat but i think it was me all right <coughs> try it dirty yeah So much better on a thicker shit than it does on that 14 gauge. Still, it's a, I think it's got a little too much wire. Okay. Almost. Yeah. It's got for that style for that corner. Yeah. I mean, because that's not a hard weld at all. Right. But it didn't. It didn't cut in. See it? Yeah. And you got good, 
It's got dons got, on there. Oh so. yeah, and you got good heat penetration. Yeah. Flip it around. Yeah, I mean, look. It didn't cut either side, it's just a little ugly. Okay. So, so, so what's your opinion? I like it. I mean, it's solid, solid welder, smooth, uh, consistent, for sure. As long as you can half-ass weld, I think that, that you ought to be good to go. Even if you can't half-ass weld, this is a great welder to learn on, so, in my opinion. All right, so that was a demonstration of the MP200 MIG function. And I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.